Hello, this is Reg Kelly, Table in the Wilderness. I uh, just really want to challenge everyone out there to be sure and vote at this upcoming election. Uh, I don't know if this is factual or not, but they say there's somewhere around 50 million Christian people that did not vote in the last presidential election. Uh, folks, listen, if the Christians will get out and vote, there's no way the ungodly liberals can win this election. So I want to challenge you. You have no basis to complain, to gripe, uh, or anything if you don't get out and vote. And not only vote, but uh, express your support and encourage other people to vote, uh, I believe, for Donald Trump. I'm going to vote for Donald Trump without any reservation. You say, Reggie, is he a Christian? I don't know whether he is or not, but I can tell you this, that he probably supports biblical principles more than any president with action in my life. And so uh, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. I sure can't vote for those who uh, believe in slaughtering children, those who just make it want to force their perversion on everybody in this country. You look at the spiritual situation, it's enough to vote against the Democrats and the liberals. If you look at the economic situation, it's more than enough to vote against the Democrats. If you look at uh, national or international policy, foreign policy, any issue that you look at, our stance toward Israel is vote for a Republican all the way down the ticket. There's no way that a Democrat uh, candidate can tell me you, you, can't, you can't do right and be on the Democrat ticket. There's no way you can be biblically right and be on the Democrat ticket. If you look at marriage, if you look at morality, if you look at the spiritual uh, attack upon this country, upon the, the attack upon churches and, and worship and freedom of speech and so forth, you just couldn't be a Democrat and be a good American. That's a fact. I'll challenge you on that. You may disagree, but I, I don't really care if you disagree. You're wrong. Democrat Party has abandoned the Constitution. They've abandoned the foundation of this nation. So I just want to really challenge you to be praying, to be working, to be laboring, and to vote. And let's win this thing. Let's win. We're winning. Let's win. And we'll always be winners in Jesus Christ because he'll write the last chapter. And I just want to encourage you in the Lord. I really do. Don't be discouraged. Be happy you live in America. Be happy for the truth. Stand for the truth. Live for a purpose. And uh, God will... God will encourage you. That's when you really get encouragement. So have a great day and we'll be talking to you in the future.